Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today I would like to uh, show you uh, what is NPV, how to calculate NPV. Uh, NPV is a net present value uh, parameter of uh, any investment project. So I hope you will like this video. I will be, uh, I will try to be as simple as possible to explain you what it is. Um, like, share, subscribe as usual, <laughs> help the channel to grow. So uh, what is NPV? NPV is something um, what you have when you pay back all the uh, investment that you put inside the project. So you are uh, financing something, then you uh, get back your financing and an NPV, uh, what you have extra after getting all your money back. Uh, but this extra, uh, extra cash flow uh, will be discounted to some uh, extent depending on the risks of your project. And all these risks uh, will be put into the coefficient called discount rate. And uh, to calculate net present value, to calculate NPV, first of all, you need to build the cash flow statement. Because only inside the cash flow statement you will be able to, uh, to, to figure out your, uh, your inflows and outflows. So uh, I will try to be as simple as possible to explain you um, what it is. So first of all, we have our cash flow statement done by uh, three groups. Operating activity, investment activity and financial uh, financing activity. Uh, I will call it NPV. So we are creating the block for calculation of net present value. So first of all, we need to calculate the cash flow um, of the project itself. So I'm taking the result from operating activity plus the result from investment activity minus principal payments minus interest payments. So we are not taking the equity inflow and loan inflow because if we take these inflows our net present value uh, will also be positive because we have to put equity and loan and loan that way to avoid uh, to avoid negative values in cash balance at the end of the period so our aim is to calculate whether project itself with this line with first first of all this line uh, from operating activity can generate the cash enough to pay back all the investments so uh, first of all we are starting with this value so operating activity is revenues minus direct minus fixed minus payroll minus taxes we have uh, with the result from operating activity investment activity is uh, all the investments with minus sign then we uh, uh, minus principal minus interest payments so this is the burden from the loan then we extrapolate this formula So this is the first. Uh, this is the first step of calculating the net present value. What we are doing next? Then we have to uh, numerize the months of operating activity. So uh, our operating activity starts from February. Here it is. The first uh, flow uh, occurs in February. So. It is not the operating activity, it is activity, activity of the project itself. 
so the formula will be if this one more than zero will put one if this one is minus minus is, is less than zero we will put one otherwise zero then here we will place another formula then if and if this one equals to zero then and this one equals to zero then we will put here zero otherwise if this one more than zero we will put one if this one will be less than zero we'll put one otherwise we will take uh, this one uh, if this one uh, one then if if um, and if this one is uh, Mm, if this if this more than less than zero we will put here uh, this plus one then if this one more than zero we will do the same otherwise zero if this one we will put so if this one equals zero zero if if and if this one So now we are counting the months of, of activity of the project. So what we are doing now? Now we are introducing discount rate. Discount rate. So you can't calculate net present value without the discount rate. So this is the parameter that affects the net present value so discount rate is a parameter that uh, on which the future uh, cash flows of your project are being discounted depending on the extent of risk uh, of your specific uh, specifically um, or specific your business idea all projects all business ideas are completely different uh, and uh, uh, inflation affects the business uh, different risks affects uh, specific risk affects the operating activity and um, mm, there is a probability uh, that you won't be able to uh, get uh, future revenues to get uh, the profits uh, if some risks uh, take place so uh, the discount rate is specific for each project and shows how risky it is for example different startups which are aimed for non-existing markets 
they usually have a bigger discount rate like 40 50 it's okay uh, but, but for example the traditional uh, businesses have lower uh, discount rates uh, so discount rates uh, so discount rates uh, it uh, decreases the future uh, cash flows uh, and brings the uh, the future profit uh, to to their really uh, to realistic values today. So um, first of all, discount rate uh, yearly. So this is the year discount rate, and now we have to transform this discount rate to monthly value monthly value how we how we do that so we are start writing the formula we are using the year discount then uh, we use power then 1 divided by 12 closing brackets minus 1 so this will be monthly discount rate for our project and uh, what we are calculating now now we're start calculating net present value so we are taking this cash flow that we already have and we are dividing it by 1 plus uh, this monthly discount rate we are freezing this value then we are closing the brackets uh, power uh, this this uh, value so um, then we press enter so here you can see that this value is bigger than this than this value on the value of discount so here we can see just um, a small difference between these two values but as soon as we go to the future we will be able to see that this difference starts to grow So because, as we know, uh, $100 today and $100 two, three years uh, from today, uh, we will be able to buy less for these $100 plus different risks will affect the business and we are not sure that we will be able to uh, reach the, these revenues that we expect in, 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 in five, seven years. So for example, if we have the profit uh, net profit 1.7 million so with discount uh, after 10 years of uh, the business uh, if we uh, take this uh, value today this will be three three five thousand dollars so um, so the bigger discount so for example if we're talking about the startup with a bigger discount rate Uh, we we'll, um, the gap between this value without discounting and the value with discounting will be huge because the risks sufficiently affect the startup um, and for example if we uh, if we have a traditional business idea like for example laundry uh, or groceries so will be um, uh, insufficient discount for example so we can see that will be we will have insufficient gap during the uh, time horizon of our business idea then what we're doing so we're just creating a total of this line
and here is our net present value. So the bigger discount rate, the lower is the uh, net present value. So the rule for net present value is that it has to be always positive. If, if, the, if, if it has a negative value, then this means that we, we are not, uh, the project doesn't generate enough cash to get our investment back. So uh, it, it has to be positive uh, at the end. So th th these, these total, this total has to be positive. So this value has to be positive. If it is negative, you have to rethink your business concept. Uh, for example, if you have a, a startup, for example, and uh, it is, uh, for example, dying at the level of discount, for example, 18%. So uh, it's not a good idea because uh, the startup uh, should um, should be positive at, for example, 25, uh, 30 percent of discount, um, and um, um, so you can't so you can't create net present value without the cash flow being done. And you can't create net present value uh, without discount rate. So, uh, as I already told you, you have to uh, the net present value. The rule for the net present value is it has to be always positive. If it is negative, you have to rethink your inputs, your financial models, your your assumptions for the business idea. Um, so, if it is a startup, you have to use a bigger uh, discount rate. If it is a traditional business. You can use a lower discount rates. So if it, if your uh, startups uh, gets the negative uh, uh, negative uh, net PV, for example, at the discount rate of, for example, nine ten percent, that you have to think about your business idea. Maybe just some inputs. So uh, it's nice time to rethink something. So I hope that um, I managed to ex explain what is in PV as simple as possible. Maybe this video will be useful for you. So uh, see you guys in the next video. Give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Uh, also, you can order financial models from scratch for your unique business idea. We can help you with that. So see you guys in the next videos. Thank you and bye.